Gems is about showing people what they might not know about Howard County. There is so much to see and do. Everyone should come out and have some fun. Today's Howard County Hidden Gem takes us to Elkridge Furnace Inn and Garden House, a place with more than meals on the menu. I don't know that there's many more beautiful places to go to work <clears throat> than what we have really developed here. Um, it took some time. It didn't look like this when we started. Recently, I got to sit down with owner chef Dan Wecker and chef Jared Raddis to get a behind the scenes look at the restaurant and a bit of a history lesson. We're in a historic complex of about 12 acres um, that dates back as early as 1608 and with an original land grant around 1750, <clears throat> we have uh, buildings on the property here dating to the, uh, as early as 1744, and the newest building is 1830. And ever since the restaurant breathed new life into the property 32 years ago, it's truly become one of Howard County's hometown hidden gems, tucked away deep in Elkridge award-winning cuisine in a beautiful historic setting. It's elegant yet relaxed. It sits uh, on many acres of parkland. There's gardens where many of the ingredients come straight from the garden to the table. And we're growing plums. So we plan to make some jam and things with that. That is called a graffiti cauliflower. We grow purple asparagus. One right behind us, or in front of us here, I guess, is our, is our Manor House Celebration Tent. Uh, we have a garden house facility across the street. It's a beautiful space, it's bright. Uh, people can do a private event there. Uh, we had a couple of them this last weekend. Sometimes we host events there, whether they are Reader's Theater, we do showers, we do teas, we do small weddings, we do lots of different things. It's the type of place where memories are made, including those for Chef Jarrett Raddus himself, many years before he knew he would one day be working here. We would come to Elkridge Furnace Inn, you know, growing up for uh, celebrations or special events, things like that. It was a, it was a special dinner for us, um, always, but um, we came here many, many times over the years and um, did you ever Growing imagine up. that you would be working here now? No, no, I can't say at the time I ever, I ever imagined that. Um, but it truly is a blessing, and um, as, as a chef, it's I, I can't begin to put it into words how rewarding it is to be able to go out there and, and just literally grab something from either the mushroom house or the garden, bring it inside, and it's, it's on a, a guest plate, you know, within a couple hours. Just to give you an example, we had we had a woman dine with us this past Saturday who was vegan and you know we do have some vegan options on the menu as it is but she wanted something that was a little little off menu and so I went out to the garden and picked, picked some squash that we had out there um, and we literally you know the squash was in the garden and 20 minutes later was cooked and on her plate. And that's the type of experience you get no matter what whether you're here for brunch or dinner or a private catered event like a wedding or a shower Elkridge Furnace Inn does it all because the grounds provide it all. It encompasses horticultural gardens, it encompasses vegetable gardens, a small orchard. And you are welcome to come see it all before you eat it all. Uh, Jared and I get out, you know, if we see people wandering in the gardens and things, very often we'll go out and give them a little tour and show them the cauliflowers or the, the leeks or the tropio onions or something that might be of interest to people. Farm to fork, it's, it's kind of this, this new term um, that's kind of come about in the last five to 10 years. Um, it can mean a lot of different things, but here we truly embody that. We really truly start with the seed um, and grow vegetables, lettuces, uh, all sorts of different produce um, that wind up in the plate or, or in various pickles or, or that kind of thing. Also, if anyone in your group has a dietary restriction, rest assured, this is a restaurant to visit. I studied nutrition in college, um, and part of that was learning about the different dietary restrictions, things like that, whether it's dairy-free, gluten-free, celiac, Crohn's. To be able to um, approach a diner and, and, and kind of uh, 
navigate the what, what can often be muddy water sometimes in terms of trying to figure out what it is that they can and cannot have um, so that way we can accommodate them appropriately and, and give them the same experience as anyone else would um, you know that's that's important to both Dan and I ready to check it out now's the time just for you Midday Maryland viewers, visit Elk Ridge Furnace Inn in the next 30 days and mention the show, you will get half price off of your appetizers when you order dinner. If you'd like to discover more hometown hidden gems, just check out visithowardcounty.com. We'll be right back with more Midday Maryland right after this. Stay tuned.